I want to switch gears and talk about the weather forecast right now. Meteorologist Thomas Patrick joining us. Thomas, of course, last week we had all that smoke. It's since cleared up, but now we got some rain. Going to clean up the air even more, apparently. Yeah, even more. I mean, I think it were good to moderate in terms of air quality. Yeah. Any rain's going to push us easily into there the good go. area. Yeah. yeah, we like to hear that. It has been pretty fantastic this week. The last day of summer today, the first day of fall. And even tomorrow's going to be pretty nice. Maybe not quite as much sunshine, but the main headlines. Well, you better be ready for the rain this week. And honestly, I think most people are actually expecting and want the rain in the area. It might be more rain than we've seen all summer long. So it might just take three days to uh, outdo three months worth of rain from uh, the inland northwest, but much warmer come next week. So this little bit of a cool down isn't going to last terribly long. This huge weather system in low pressure area with the jet stream along with that is in the North Pacific and this huge system is going to continue to slide into the Pacific Northwest. You see it's much larger than the state of Washington itself. So here's the timeline here on Future Tracker. We stop it at about 9 p.m. tomorrow evening. The rain crossing the state from west to east. I think the earliest time frame for Spokane to get rain, 5 o'clock. That would be the earliest, but I think most of it much later in the evening hours, so around midnight and in the overnight hours, uh, Thursday morning overall. That's the first batch of rainfall that we see. Back to scattered showers during the afternoon on Thursday, and we'll see another wave move through Friday afternoon. So when you look at the rain timeline here, there it is in the red tiles. Thursday early morning hours after midnight, very likely. And then once again, once we get to the afternoon and even evening hours on Friday. By the way, it will be a little bit windy. You see that bottom row there. Wind gusts between about 20 to 30 miles per hour on occasion. Not nearly as strong as we've seen it on some previous days for the inland northwest. Here we go at uh, our future rainfall. About a half an inch of rain in the Spokane area. We've only seen about a quarter of an inch the last three months, but notice the yellow and the red shades. This is where the most rain is going to fall far north Idaho. The Panhandle region northeastern Washington could even get one inch of rain in the OMAC area as well. I think our estimates will be closer to a half an inch in most spots, but some heavier rainfalls to the north of the Spokane area. Certainly very much possible. Here's the rain the last three much as 22 hundredths of an inch in Spokane since June 21st might just double that in a couple days time. As for your virtual Bloomsday forecast tomorrow, the best day to run that not as much cloud cover, but at least not raining yet much cooler and a little bit windy in the afternoon once we head into Thursday and Friday. But next week we're back into that warmer and drier period, not 90s this time around just to around 80 degrees as you see a week from today. But uh, anybody out there uh, going to uh, say the rain's going to be a bad thing? I haven't heard any complaints yet here. No, not at all. We certainly need that rain, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much, Thomas.